boys and girls. Welcome back to Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids. I got a good one for you today. If you want to find out how to draw like the world famous artist Pablo Picasso and create a Picasso head panda, you need to just watch. Hey parents, I just want to talk to you for a second. One thing that I always try to do when I'm in school and I'm tying together lessons with my kids, I always try to mix literature in with art. And I got two great books that I like to share and I will leave a link below in the description of this video of where you can find these books if you would like to add them to your child's library. I'm talking about Draw with Picasso by Anna Salvador. This book shows you pictures of Picasso actually sitting down and drawing with kids. And it shows you step by step how you can go through, or your child can go through learning how to draw line by line, just like Picasso did. This is a very interesting book and I was very fulfilled when I found this book and shared it with my students. The second book is the ultimate panda book for kids. It's filled with lots of color pictures of pandas. It has quizzes, it has puzzles, it has games. It's like the, like I said, the ultimate panda book for kids. And they also make a Kindle version for those kids that like having electronic books. So check these out in the description below. Both books are great reads and great pieces of literature to add to any child's library. All right. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, that's a like. Then hit subscribe and hit that bell. And watch my whole video. Yeah. All right, let's get started. Before I start, I want to let you know that if you go to the description underneath the video, I am leaving a freebie today for all of my subscribers that watched the entire video. I am going to leave a link to a downloadable coloring page of my drawing today. You will be able to download my Picasso Panda line drawing. And if you print it out, you can use it as a coloring page. I know that my drawing is kind of difficult for my younger viewers. So I decided to give you a hand. I'm leaving a coloring page for you to download. Have your parents download it and print it out for you. And then you can create your very own Picasso head panda using my drawing. I hope that this helps and I hope that you watch my whole video so that you can get this free offering today. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the artist that I fell in love with as a child. Pablo Picasso. My mother gave me a Picasso book when I was in elementary school as a Christmas present. I kind of fussed at the time. I didn't really appreciate it. But I still have this book. And it's one of my favorite books. And I love her for giving it to me. My mother was always trying to enrich my life with culture and art in ways that 
I couldn't comprehend as a child. But I do understand now. And I just want to say, Mom, thank you so much. I appreciate all that you and Dad did for me as I was growing up. Okay, let's talk about one of my childhood artistic idols, Pablo Picasso. Pablo Ruiz Picasso. And this is the short version of his name. Picasso's name is so long, it might take me almost a whole video to say it. But I'm not. I am going to let you know he was born on October 25th in the year 1881 in the country of Spain. He was a painter and a sculptor. And he created over 20,000 images in his whole entire lifetime. He was considered one of the greatest artists of the 20th century. Now he's best known as the co-founder of Cubism. And you're probably going to say, Cubism? Well, what's Mr. Smith? What's that, Mr. Smith? What's Cubism? Well, it's a school of art and not a school you can walk into. It's a type of art. And these artists would take an image. So said, let's just say you're looking at a shoe and you're looking at it from one side. But a Cubist artist would look at it and draw it from one side and then he would look at it on the other side and look at it from the other side and he would draw all of the sides together at the same time it's almost like he would flatten it out so instead of having to walk around it you could see it all sides simultaneously cubism was a breakthrough for Picasso. Picasso could do this so easily. He could stick a nose or eye or ear or hand any place and the painting would still work. The picture would still work. Picasso could create things and draw with the innocence of a child's drawing. And I'm gonna tell you, children's drawings are some of the most purest and most innocent drawings of all. Well, Picasso had that childlike quality as an adult. I always have loved his art and will continue to love his art especially because of that quality. Now you might say, okay, Mr. Smith, why a panda? Well, I love bears. It just so happens that Mr. Smith has a collection of bears which he inherited from his wife. We had so many bears in my house if you came over, you could not sit in the living room because bears were everywhere. Well, one day my wife asked me to put all of the, when I'm talking about bears, I'm talking about stuffed animals, stuffed bears. She asked me to put the bears away and I did until one day I said, these bears would work well in my classroom. So each year I would pull out and I have like several large bags of bears. I would pull out the bears and put them on my tables and we would draw them. And one of the most popular bears that the kids would draw would be the panda bear. And I guess it's because of the high contrast of the black and white in the panda that 
attracted many of my students to drawing it. I chose it today because of the shapes in the face, in the eyes. I always loved dark areas in the eyes. But because of trying to create a Picasso head panda, I have chosen to have lots of different shapes inside of some of those black shapes where I want to add many different colors. I want to make this so bright with the contrast of the black shapes. I wanted to have flowers. I wanted to have shapes that resembled the forest and the bamboo that the bear loves. And if you look at some of the videos I've included inside of this video, you will see panda bears love eating bamboo. I even included a couple drawings from some of my kids that created some Picasso pandas. I want to thank everybody for coming here today to watch my video and I want to remind you to please go to the description. Please watch the whole video and if you go to the description you'll see a download link where you can get my coloring page for my Picasso Panda. And thank you for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. That you like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And come back to see me again. Take care. Bye-bye.